Hello, welcome to KW Engineering's how-to on the outdoor air ventilation load tool. I'm going to be guiding you through an example that shows you how to utilize our tool to analyze the impacts of outdoor air ventilation on your building. For our example, we will be using the city of Houston as a reference city with a building that has a design outdoor air fraction of 15% that operates 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday. So to get started, the first thing we're going to want to do is go to step one in the tool under the summary tab and click on the that macro here, which says design OA condition 1 to 100%. And that'll give you a pop-up message which tells you the typical value of a building, which is typically 15 to 30%. Uh, you can find this information in your mechanical equipment, test and balance reports, or your building automation system. So we'll hit OK. So we'll go ahead and enter that outdoor air fraction value as a uh, integer. And so for this example, we mentioned uh, that it will be 15%. So we'll hit Enter, and that'll go ahead and update that value. And as you can see, that's going to be updated under this uh, cell. U22 at 15%. So you can see it as a reference to remember what you set from the beginning. The next step will be to update our reference city. Um, so if you don't know what your reference city is for your building, we based that reference city on the ASHRAE climate zones. And you can find more information on that by clicking this button here, which will then prompt you to uh, look at the ASHRAE climate zone tab, which does uh, clear coordinate the uh, ASHRAE climate zones based on the region and their moisture capacity. Um, and so you can see the list on the, on the right here that indicates what the ASHRAE climate zone is and what the representative city for that climate zone would be. And as I mentioned, for Houston, Texas, that would be the ASHRAE climate zone 2A. So with that information, we can go back to our summary and we will go under our dropdown, which is call a cell U12. And we can go up to the top here and select Houston Texans. You may want to zoom in. This is a little small for my liking, but here we go. And that'll prompt you with a message indicating that you need to update your weather. Um, so that way you know that if you switch the weather city to update your weather, otherwise you're going to be referencing the wrong weather set in your analysis. So we'll go ahead and do that now under step two and update the weather. And just in a few seconds, that'll populate correctly. And as you can see now, we have the correct weather set for Houston, Texas. Now, all these blue dots that you see are for occupied periods of the building. And so we're going to want to now then update our schedule, which is the next step, step three. So we'll hit that button there and we'll pop into our schedule tab. And currently the schedule is set from 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday. And we want to correct that so that we have our schedule from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Now, you can also use fractional schedules if your schedule technically starts at 7.30, 0.5, to be representative of half of, the, of that hour is being occupied. But for our example, we'll keep it as a one. So we'll pop back over to the summary tab, and the next step is to, is to look at the design conditions. So different buildings will have different design conditions for their analysis for, this, for the city of Houston we will be using the max wet bulb uh, condition. Now, if you wanted to switch it up to see how, how it impacts if your particular building was designed for sensible load and not to take into consideration humidity, you can do that by overriding the design condition here by designing to max dry bulb. And then you can switch back over to max wet bulb or also uh, resetting to the default if you don't remember which one you were what, what the appropriate one is for that region. Although that information that is shown to the user here as what the default originally was and what your current user input is. And so whenever these two don't match up, you'll get a warning indicating that you're not using the default. The next step, step five, is now where the user gets to adjust their outdoor air fraction for how the outdoor air fraction change will impact the building. And currently, because our building is set to 15% um, design, that means that our building can handle up to 15% um, most of the year's um, conditions. However, um, we can adjust that value in the simulation. And at this point, we have it set to five, which 
this being this just tells us that because all these dots are blue, our building is more than capable of handling the, the load for the entire year. But now what happens if we increase it um, above that threshold? That's when you start to run into issues. So you can either update it through up using the cell T25 or using the slider tool here. And I like to use that one preferably. So I'll use that and it does increase in 10% interval. So the first increase does show that it, it now it's now at the design condition and the design does um, account for meeting 99% of the loads throughout the year. And so that's why you see a little bit of the red dots here, but the majority of the year it is capturing everything. So now we go ahead and increase it further. You'll be able to see the real impacts of adjusting that outdoor air fraction on your building. And the short of it is essentially the more most buildings are have that design condition of 15 to 30 percent. And when you do start to increase that outdoor air fraction during the more extreme periods of the year, whether that's summer or winter or depending on your climate region, that could vary. Um, you'll run into issues where your HVAC equipment won't be able to handle the load. And so this tool just allows the user to kind of see all, all of those impacts. And you can see on the bottom right, we have an additional information for the users that show our summary. And essentially this shows what our maximum outdoor air wet bulb temperature is, our minimum outdoor air temperature for heating. And yeah, this is the top of the blue is for cooling. The orange reddish here is for heating. And uh, these charts here tell you what your unmet hours for the for the either cooling or heating are. And then at the very bottom here, you have the percentage of the year in which you're not going to be able to meet the load requirements of your building, which at, and at this point at 100% with the original 15% design, you're having about 83% of the year not being able to meet your load. So this is the uh, how to on the outdoor air ventilation tool. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it very useful. And if you have any uh, engineering consulting needs, please feel free to reach out to us. Thank you for your time.